Oh, it's much broader than that. I mean, infrastructure is obviously an important way that the federal government influences cities. But, you know, we just heard a couple of days ago about our, our extraordinary uh, defence white paper and, and the intent there to grow the defence industry, to grow the intelligence and security industry. And, of course, that will have big impacts on the cities where it happens. So our industry policy, our defence policy, our education policies, all have significant impacts on our cities. Light rail seems very much in vogue in cities all around the country. Is this something that the Commonwealth, well, I know it already has on the Gold Coast and other areas, sure. will actively support? Well, we are, as, as you rightly said. Look, we want to be mode neutral. That means we, we, we pick the best mode of transport for the particular situation Which we Which is face. a break with thinking in the past. Well, I, I, look, I think that the, the truth is that people haven't thought deep and hard enough in the past about the real cost benefits, the benefits of some of these public transport options. And what we're seeing around the world as cities become more congested is some of these public transport options are becoming much more attractive when they weren't as attractive 20 or 30 years ago. So there's been a change and it's an important change that we are certainly accommodating. And there's a big